Yo, what is up guys? It's Jorn. Welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about what killer is coming to Chapter 17 of Dead by Daylight. Now, as you can see in this leak, you can see that you cannot purchase this killer with shards, you can only purchase it with Oryx cells. And because of this, we can tell that this killer is most likely going to be a licensed killer. And this brings us to two main candidates that are getting really popular right now. One of the killers is Springtrap from the popular video game series Five Nights at Freddy's. And the other possible killer is Candyman from the horror movie Candyman that came out in 1992. There was supposed to be a remake which was supposed to come out this year, but I still don't know if it's going to come out. So now let's talk about what killer is actually most likely going to come to Dead by Daylight. Tell me what you think in the comments down below and let's get straight into it. First, let's talk about Springtrap. If you want to know more about Springtrap coming to Dead by Daylight, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can watch the video yourself and know more about Springtrap. If you think about it, Springtrap and Dead by Daylight is... There's probably a smaller chance than Candyman because Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, is busy working on his game Security Breach and another game that he has not confirmed yet, but he said he is working on it. Springtrap and Dead by Daylight would kind of mess up the lore of the game, and Scott does not want that because Scott has a huge story line to this five minutes of freddy's games and if you just add springtrap this might change up the lore or something and um the game will never be the same so i don't know if scott is going to want this to happen maybe scott will maybe scott will allow this but it depends i'm 100 percent sure scott already knows about this maybe he doesn't but i'm pretty sure he already knows but he hasn't said anything about this this is probably a good thing maybe he's thinking about it so now let's talk about candy man now if you didn't know, there was a tweet on Twitter by Leaked by Daylight, who posted, Tony Todd, the actor who plays the Candyman, a couple days ago, started following the Dead by Daylight Twitter account. This doesn't really mean anything, but it's possible that he's maybe part of the game, maybe he's going to be part of the game or something, maybe he just likes the game, I don't know. But it depends, it's possible. And I just think that Candyman would fit so much, he's got a hook for a hand, he could easily use that as one of his weapons. I think maybe he even fits a little better than Springtrap into Dead by Daylight. The only problem I do have though is his looks. He's just too plain and natural looking until, you know, his, he shows his chest. But that doesn't really, I don't know if that'll count. I don't know if they'll show that in the game, but they probably will. I think that he just can have the best perks. He can have such cool, he can have such cool outfits and stuff. Another reason why Candyman would fit perfectly into Dead by Daylight and possibly might be coming to Dead by Daylight is because he is from a movie. And most horror movie characters are added into Dead by Daylight. He's also a ghost. He's technically a ghost of this man that was beaten and he was fed to bees. And it was like, it was really a big, it was a really long story. Now, it depends because his backstory and everything would, is really good and everything. It'll definitely fit into Dead by Daylight. But it depends on if TriStar Pictures, which is the company that owns him, uh, that owns Candyman, would actually let Behavior Interactive um, add him into Dead by Daylight. It's all about the company. So, we'll see. Now that we've talked about their backstory and stuff like that, now we can talk about what their perks would be now i already talked about springtrap's perks in my other video which will be in the description but i can talk a little more about it so one of the perks were that he can once because of his mechanical workings when he's close by to a generator uh he can see the aura of one of the survivors um another one i'm pretty sure was he can spawn phantoms around the map somewhere and they'll they'll jump scare you it's like Freddy Krueger. They once you like step on it, you'll get a jump scare from a phantom, and you'll be blinded for a couple seconds. Springtrap's weapon? I don't think he would have any weapons. I think he would use his hands, or maybe like a jump scare kind of thing. I don't know. I think he would be more of like a stealthy killer, you know, kind of like Michael Myers. But Springtrap is a robot, and it'll probably, it will definitely be a little loud. I think that Candyman would be more like the um. The spirit, you know, something like that. Or maybe close to her. Uh, his weapon would obviously be his hook in the hand. Maybe one of his perks can be like, once you hit someone a couple times, you get the ability to go through a wall or obstacle a couple times. Maybe something like that. And maybe another one is that you can become invisible to all the survivors except for the victim. 
um, his name would probably probably be the rumor or something like that because obviously he was a rumor and springtrap would probably be something like the attraction or the machine something like that there's probably a whole bunch of more perks and stuff but that's all i got but if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell and like button see you guys in the next one